Hello folks, this is Neil here from I Will Always Love Video Games. Um, I guess I was a little too nice in my last video. There's still some people out there who don't seem to get why this whole content ID claim thing is bullshit. So, I'm here to explain it. I'm going to explain why it's bullshit and why it affects not just gaming YouTubers, it affects... All of us, even just viewers, not content creators. First off, I'd like to say again, um, at iWolf, we are not monetized. We're not making any money off our videos at all. We are not part of a multi-channel network. So personally, this content ID claim shit isn't affecting us yet. But it still pisses us off for good reason, for very good reason. And another group of people who are pissing me off personally are the people out there who are telling people like Angry Joe to get a real job. Okay. My opinion on this whole thing, the whole content ID claim thing, that's going on right now. It's primarily being used to attack pirates. And it's trying to get rid of people who upload complete movies, complete albums, um, and complete games without any kind of commentary or any kind of changes. And for that, I'm all for it. Go right ahead. Some guy is just sitting, turns on fraps, Records a game from beginning to end, adds no commentary, doesn't edit anything, doesn't change anything, just uploads the whole thing like a movie. Sure. If he's making money off that, he isn't transforming the content. It's not transformative. It's not changed. It's not different. And he's making money off it. Sure. Go ahead. Stop him. Go for it. I'm all for that. But reviewers... Guys like James Rolfe, who not only reviews, but does like, you know, skits and stuff like that. Same thing with Joe Vargas, Angry Joe. Leave that shit alone. Because guess what? Believe it or not, you people that are saying, get a real job. Reviewing is a job. It's a job. Have you ever read or watched a review about a movie or an album or a game? If you have, guess what? Somebody wrote it. Somebody filmed it. Someone reviewed it. And someone got paid to review it. Just like a job. A job. Peter Travers gets paid by Rolling Stone to review shit. To review music and movies. Robert Criscow gets paid. He was paid by Blender. To review. Review music. Review movies. Joe Vargas gets paid by YouTube and his higher-ups to review games. There's no difference. So any of you out there, if you're one of those closed-minded people that when you heard about this said, oh, those reviewers should get a real job. If you've ever read or watched a review about a book movie, TV show, video game, or album, and you say that, you're a hypocrite, and you need to shut the fuck up. Period. That's what reviewers are there for, folks. To review things. To help you, the consumer, make informed decisions. Which is why I'm wondering why this is happening in the first place. These companies that are doing claims, they're not losing any money from this. It's free advertising. Even if even if a reviewer bashes the shit out of a game, people will still buy it. Case in point, Angry Joe did a um excuse me, Angry Joe did a review on Kane and Lynch 2. Gave it a scathing review. Ripped it apart. I laughed my ass off watching that review, and I thought it can't possibly be that bad. So guess what? I went and bought the game just to see if it was really that bad. So I still bought it. JonTron did a review of Birdemic. 
One of those movies that's so bad it's good. He bashed the hell out of it. I bought it because I wanted to see it. The old adage is still true. There's no such thing as bad publicity. And the best publicity is free publicity. Being done by people you don't have to pay. And that's what these reviewers on YouTube are doing. And to lead into my next point, if you think, well, I don't care about gaming channels. This doesn't affect me. I'm not worried about it. It does affect you. Do you like watching movie reviews? Well, people who do movie reviews on YouTube, like, say, Cinema Sins, this copyright shit continues. Bye-bye, Cinema Sins. They'll get taken down, too. Why? Well, because look at their format. They show clips from a movie, and the, you know, full clips, and then they make a joke about why that clip is a cinema sin. They use music from those movies. They'll be taken down. People who review albums, people who review TV shows, movies, and video games, this content ID shit is going to take them down too. That's why it's important. And it's important to viewers, whether you believe this or not, because it's the reason it's important to you, it's going to be important, is you come to YouTube to be entertained. Let me ask you a question. If you came here one day and all that was here are fully licensed music videos, movies and shows you have to buy because YouTube's trying to be fucking Netflix or Amazon now, Vine-style videos, or videos like this, just someone sitting here talking, how often would you come here, really? You wouldn't come here that often. Angry Joe, Angry Video Game Nerd, these guys, you know, these guys help build YouTube. And this leads into my next point. If you don't think this is a big deal and that people are overreacting, Geeko system, Classic Game Room, who've been here since pretty much its inception, since YouTube's inception. And before that, they were around before that. Mark is, he's leaving YouTube. He put up a little two minute video, told people, go to his website to watch videos from now on. Rooster Teeth, very popular. Red vs. Blue, Achievement Hunters. They've been promoting Blip. They're planning on going to Blip. Rich from Review Tech USA is going to completely overhaul his format. No more gameplay. Just It's going to be just like this. Sitting here talking to a camera. Boy, does that sound exciting? Like hearing about video games by someone who could basically just be sitting here reading a magazine or reading it off the web? That's fine for... You know, every now and again, there are people that do the whole talking head thing. Alpha Omega Sin is great at it. Stone Fox Media is good at it. But would you want to come here and have every single channel be like that? Because that's what's going to happen. And if you think that letting this go is going to alleviate the problem, it's just going to go away, no, it's not. Right now, they're focusing on claiming movie clips, trailers, cutscenes, and licensed music. If we let all that go, what's next? Still images? Trust me, some people think I sound, that I'm going to sound paranoid. I'm not. Because that's the next logical step. You'll make a wallpaper involving... You'll pick your favorite video game characters and find images on Google and build yourself a little wallpaper and give it away for free. Oh, no, no, no. That's copyrighted material. Sure, you put all the pieces together. You did the work. But, oh, no, it has a picture of Sonic and a picture of Mario. You have to pay Nintendo and Sega for that use. You want to try to start a funny meme or share a meme on Facebook or Twitter or whatever? No, no. The person who took that picture, if it's a character, no. 
You got to pay the person that made that character for that meme. That's where it's going to head. That's where it's going. Oh, man, I'm so fucking angry. I can't even talk. That's where it's going to head. That's where it's going. It is. And, you know, and the way that it's going about right now is completely fucking ridiculous. Angry Joe had a video claimed of an interview. An interview. Him at E3 or whatever talking to somebody. No gameplay footage. Or if there was footage, it was supplied by the person he was talking to. No gameplay footage. No cutscenes, no trailers, no music. Him on the floor at E3 or whatever talking to, you know, someone who worked on a game. How the fuck do you claim that as a copyrighted... How the fuck do you claim that? It's just fucking ridiculous. You know, YouTube... YouTube... There are three simple things you could have done. To put a stop to this. And it, it, w it would still be bad. But it wouldn't be as bad as it is now. You wouldn't have people ready with pitchforks. And fucking torches at your door. Three simple things. You could have done. To fix this. One. Warn everybody. Warn content creators. Your little thing that you posted. A few weeks ago. Big changes are coming soon. Maybe in 2014. That doesn't describe anything. Give content creators. A warning. Give them a chance to turn the monetization off on certain videos so they don't get flagged or removed. Or have allow them a chance to alter their work. Give them an option to like cover up certain parts with excuse me, with stock music or uh, image or something. Give them a chance to edit. That's the first thing you could have done. The second thing you could have done is, and Joe, Angry Joe pretty much proved this, instead of outright taking away someone's content, split the profits, split the revenue. Angry Joe already showed that some of his videos were claimed by two different entities, two different companies. So obviously it's already implemented in the content ID system that more than one claimant can claim a video. So... Why can't you split it between the content creator and uploader and the person that owns the copyrighted material within? He did a Skyrim video, uh, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, and 17 seconds got claimed. So why does the person that had those little 17 seconds, why should they be allowed to make all the money off of the other work? His editing his producing, his filming, him buying the costumes and doing the uh, CGI animation, writing the script. Why should they claim the whole fucking thing? Split it. It would still suck if that happened because people wouldn't be getting all of their money. But at least it would be fair. And then if people were uploading stuff in the future, they'd know what they're getting into. Okay, if I use this, it's going to get claimed by someone else. They at least go in knowing that, and then they can't blame the person claiming it or YouTube. It would absolve you. It would wipe your hands clean of any kind of vitriol, any kind of backlash. Or fuck it. If you're going to go this far and just outright steal people's content, then just say, if you want to monetize, it has to be 100% original content. Just come out and say that. Be, be just plain English. If it comes to that, then just do that. Because then people like Angry Joe could make a second account. Make a, you know, a vlog account that is monetized, that's just them talking, or it's 100% original content. And then through that channel, you tell people, well, if you want to see my reviews, go to this channel. And then have the other channel with the copyright stuff. You know, videos and uh, cutscenes and stuff, but not monetized. Again, it's an extra step and it would suck, but it would be fair. And the third thing, and this is the most important, and I don't know why it's getting so dark in this room all of a sudden. The third point is the most important point. And it has to happen right now before this shit escalates. Make a plain English list, YouTube, of what is and isn't allowed on your channel if you're monetizing. 
fuck this corporate bullshit where you come out and say a little two sentence blanket fucking statement. Put up an official list. Hollywood, step in. RIAA, step in. Everyone come together and say, look, content user, a content creator can use X amount of minutes of copyrighted material within X amount of minutes of an uploaded video. Say you can use this, but you can't use that. Make a concise, plain English fucking list. I don't know why this is so difficult for them to do. And have it right there at the forefront of YouTube. Hey, before you upload anything, read this list. Once again, that way, people can know ahead of time what they can and can't do. And if they upload something that breaks the rules, they can't yell at you. They can't yell at a claimant. It's their own fault. Do these things, YouTube. Do this shit. DSP Gaming is going through 24,000 videos because of this crap. It's just ridiculous. You want to stop piracy? You want to stop lazy people who are just uploading whatever, not commenting, anything like that? Cool. Go for it. Go after those people. I'm all for it. It'll clear up YouTube a lot. Go for it. But just like DRM, just like Synavia, this, what you're doing, is punishing creative people. It's punishing those who are just trying to entertain you. This blanket content ID system is punishing the innocent and the well-meaning along with the guilty. And you fucking know it. You know it. So I'm urging you to fix it. Otherwise, all your videos are going to be Vine videos or stuff like this. And I'm telling you, you're going to lose a lot of viewers because of it. And for those people who say, well, move your channel over to Blip or Vimeo or Twitch or Daily Motion or whatever. No, no, that's not the attitude to have. It's not the attitude to have. Because if this stuff right now, in December 2013, if it doesn't get resolved and fixed right now on YouTube, this copyright content ID claim shit is just going to go to those sites too. It's going to follow you. It needs to be straightened out now. We need a set of rules explaining what you can and cannot do. No more of this gray area bullshit. I watch Broken Games HD's video. Well, you should be able to. I like the guy. I'm not making fun of him. You know, you should be able to do this. You can play indie games or just stick to multiplayer. You don't know if that's okay or not. Because they'll just up and change the rules. Oh, no. That's gameplay footage. I don't care if it's multiplayer from Killzone. It's still Killzone, so we're claiming it. There needs to be a set of rules listed. Do that, YouTube. Stop this claiming shit. Let this stuff go. Let it go. And then at the beginning of the new year, come up with a list. You can do this. You can't do this. You can monetize this. You can't monetize this. And then just leave it up. That way, someone fucks up. It's their own fault. It's as simple as that. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to get that off my chest because a lot more needed to be said. This is very serious, regardless of what you may think it is. And I hope it gets fixed soon. I really do, because I don't want to see my favorite channels disappear. And I'm sure you don't want to see your favorite channels disappear. More than likely, you're subscribed to at least one channel that uses copyrighted material in some way, shape, or form. And I'm sure you don't want to see them go away. So share this video. Share our playlist, Wake Up YouTube. Because we've been collecting videos from people like Review Tech USA, Alpha Mega Sin, Broken Games HD, um, Total Biscuit, putting them all together, trying to put one big list of here. These are people that have been affected and trying to share it. Please share that playlist with people. Get the word out. This stuff has to be fixed and fast. I'm hoping our next few videos will be much more lighthearted in nature. Our, uh, 
game giveaway is still going on for another two days. If you want to enter that, you might want to go check it out because we're going to stop taking submissions after the 15th. And we've got some other fun stuff coming up as long as we can put up gameplay footage because if not, then all our videos are going to be like this. And that's going to be boring. That's going to suck. But got to stay positive. Share this video. Share the playlist. Spread the word. We got to get this fixed. This is Neil from I Will Always Love Video Games, and I'll see you next time.